Hi everyone, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you and God bless you. How are you all doing today? Right now, my correct correct people have come again with another Ubungo information from the Palace of Ife. How are you all doing today? As we heard allegedly, my country people now so with the carry come meet on a phone at the So yes, so yes, so my country people, the one where they reach to us is about KBAC and Queen Naomi Shilekola Ogunusi. One thing, one thing is that Kabi Esido already swear, say Queen Naomi will never leave him. Yes, so that Queen Naomi, see, that if you don't bring Queen Naomi back, ah, may, may something go happen. Mm -hmm. Kabi Esido already decided that he must bring Queen Naomi Shilekola back to the palace of Ife. You see that Ogun, see where enemies say Queen Naomi no go answer in peace. Yeah, Kabi Esi is about to, you know, send it back to sender to the sender. <laughs> don't mind me. But anyway... We heard allegedly that KBS returned the staff of Yeyolua to uh, Queen Naomi. Yes, so my correct, correct people. According to alleged information, KBS was like, no, that no other person will answer Yeyolua in Ileife. Even if Queen Naomi decides that uh, she's not, you know, uh, uh, that for now she's not coming back to the palace to come and perform any function or, you know, carry out any uh, function or anything, that that staff must be with Queen Naomi to tell and show Queen Naomi how much he loves her. <laughs> My correct, correct people, we had allegedly that KBAC insisted and told the uh, and, um, elders, some of his elders with the uh, sacred priest, that they should take the staff of uh, authority to Queen Naomi. Yes, so my correct, correct people. That he, she, he had the intentions of bringing Queen Naomi back into the palace of Ife, and he's not going to, you know, change it because of the Olovis or what the Olovis are doing to him. That he must fulfill that which is his uh, uh, destiny, desire, and every other thing, you know. Bringing Queen Naomi back into the palace has always been KBAC's greatest desire. Yes, so my correct, correct people, KBAC, Tete, he, he had been planning on how to, you know, in fact, he don't really they see and for dream how he's going to be with Queen Naomi Shilekola, but, you know, uh, at times, devil will just be playing tricks and every other thing. It's not that KBS is not trying. He's really, really trying. But things that are somehow, somehow way bigger than him is just like making it look as if he's not trying. So now, as uh, KBS insisted that the staff of Yeyelua should be taken back to Queen Naomi, he was like, yes, so that he will know that Queen Naomi, and Queen Naomi will equally know that he, she is holding that which belongs to Ilefe and will not think of, you know, leaving KBSC for anything. I think what KBSC is scared of is Queen Naomi leaving him. Yeah, KBSC don't want to hear that story or hear that part where uh, finally, finally, they will tell him that, oh, Queen Naomi left him. KBSC no not want to hear it at all, at all. And that is the reason why KBSC is doing everything possible to make sure that it didn't happen. He didn't hear of it at all, at all. You know, Akuma people told Queen Naomi to return the staff of Yeyolua to Ife. Yes, she, since she's, not, she's no longer there and she will not be going there more often uh, like before. So they told her to return the staff of which Queen Naomi did. But now, Kabi Esido already returned the staff back to uh, Queen Naomi. And as we heard allegedly, once the staff is returned to Olobi Naomi, Queen Naomi will not return it back like that again. Yes. So, it, now that Ilefe people brought the staff to Queen Naomi, it's left for Ilefe people to come and take it back. You get? So, Kabi Esido now, if he's going to give Queen Naomi total freedom as, uh, you know, as requested by her people, she, he still wants to use something and hold Queen Naomi. KBAC is scared. He is super scared that Queen Naomi might leave him. I don't know why he's that scared, but from what KBAC is doing and every other thing, you see that KBAC is super scared of Queen Naomi leaving him. KBAC no one to wake up a morning and hear that, oh, Queen Naomi is getting married or something. No, KBAC no one hear him at all, at all, at all. So that was the reason why he decided to, you know, send his elders with the sacred bearer to take the um the staff of uh, authority back to Olobi Naomi Shilekola Gumusi. Yes, so let her take it, let it be in her custody. She still, she is and still remains the Yoluwa of Ileife Kingdom, Conrad Conshine. 
that is exactly what Kabi Esido already, you know, uh, uh, announced with that action of his. So, to tell everybody, if you are eyeing that position, for those that are in the palace have, that have decided not to leave the palace, Kabi Esido used to, to tell them that, see, if you are eyeing that position, better leave your eye, come up to your eye from that position, because you can never get that position. Yes, the position belongs to Queen Naomi, and Queen Naomi alone now get the position. So that was the reason why Kabi Esi had to return the staff of Uyeyolua. And it was not Kabi Esi's intention alone. Yeah, we had allegedly that they had had series of meetings and enough people came together to suggest that the staff of authority should be returned back to Queen Naomi. That they were the ones that saw how worthy to be the Uyeyolua and they conferred that uh, authority to her. So the staff of uh, authority should be sent back to her. You get so my correct correct people in life a people no longer you know anything where can be tell them now they no longer they are no they are doing as if they are no longer interested or something like that because they were so angry on you know what KBAC did. They were like ah uh -uh, that KBAC did what they never expected of him that uh, they planned something and all of a sudden KBAC decided to twist everything without giving them prior notice, even the DNA that all of them came together to, you know, suggest that they must perform the, they must carry out the DNA test before welcoming Toby and the twins. So Toby is welcome Toby without even giving them notice of whether he'd already do the DNA or he had not done, done the DNA. And he was like, the kids are his. He just announced that the kids are his. A lot of people started asking him a question, but Toby didn't give any tangible answer to all the questions they were asking him, he kept telling them that the case we are his, as we heard allegedly. So now, anytime we Kabi Esi called them for a meeting concerning Queen Naomi, all of them will just hold their hands and will be looking at Kabi Esi. It's not that they don't want Queen Naomi back into the palace. No, it's just that they are tired of giving Kabi Esi suggestion almost every month. Almost every month, they are giving KBS a suggestion on what they are going to do, the next line of action, how they are going to bring Queen Naomi back into the palace. And all of a sudden, everything will just, like, twist. You get? Mm -hmm. So, as we had allegedly, uh, they sat for a meeting, they, they concluded that the staff should be taken back to Queen Naomi so that what happened before will not happen, will not repeat itself again. You know, the only is they, they, they we are dragging, there was a point they, they started dragging the staff of authority. And now, where all of it will be just the, you know, Buga herself, they carry herself about in the palace. The staff of authority might enter her hand this time. The other time it was uh, all of me, Miriam and the wrong kid that was dragging it. But now, hmm, as we they see, it might enter into the hands of uh, all of me, uh, uh, all of me, um, uh, uh, um, Toby this time. Yes, it might enter into her hands because the way where she take the take things, the way where she take the carry herself as person, way don't bomb boy, bomb girl. So you see all those stuff. So now, even if people are like, they don't want all those stories again. Queen Naomi is in a better position to hold the staff of authority. Since the sacred places in the palace, these Olovis are no longer scared of entering them. The other time, I don't know if you recall that there was a time that these women went to the extent of, you know, um, uh, uh, doing, uh, as in carving another Yolua staff of authority so as to replace the original one you get so that kind of a thing mm -mm, they don't want that kind of a thing in the palace of Ife again so they insisted that Queen Naomi should you know hold the uh, staff of authority for now in fact it's not even for now she is the Yolua forever according to them as we do here allegedly because they are like they don't have they don't even have the strength to start you know electing another person as the Yolua and Kabi AC according to him that he he already asked God for you know um for direction and every other thing for the power as in he already asked God to remove this uh, uh, weakness from him. He don't already swear say now only Queen Naomi nine be the wife where Kabi AC go marry this time that he's not getting any new wife. Every other person where he don't already promised marriage before, he don't already they plead with them one after the other. They settle them, made them just go, made them live his life alone because he can't continue. He, he don't already test polygamy and uh, waiting, waiting the thing test and form out. Uh, he they saw so Kabi AC, he no one go back to that route again. So, my correct, correct people, please do not 
not forget that all these are uh, latest information has gathered on the internet space. I am not living in the palace of Ife, neither was I there when the whole matter happened or something. I saw on the internet space and I thought it wise to bring to your doorstep. So do well to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you soon in my next upload. Bye-bye. Thank you and God bless you.